you see your first pangolin, you just, you, you can't help but fall in love. They, they're magical animals and we have no right to touch them, to interfere with them because they are so special and so vulnerable and it's really, it's an animal that should just be in the wild. But the pangolin is the most trafficked animal in the world. These shy and vulnerable creatures are smoked out from their homes, beaten, tortured and burnt alive. Pangolins are trafficked by the thousands for their scales, which are boiled off their bodies and used in phony Asian traditional medicine. To add to their woes, pangolins and even their unborn babies are considered a delicacy and eaten as a status symbol in some countries. The demand is just going to lead to the demise of all four of the African pangolin species because the Asian ones are pretty much extinct for all intent and purposes. Shockingly, it's estimated that one pangolin is poached from the wild in Africa every five minutes. We need to act now. Recently, our team rushed to the scene where a pangolin was rescued from poachers in Southern Africa's Kalahari Desert. We are here in the Northern Cape, the most remote part of South Africa, to find out about a pangolin that has been rescued from the illegal wildlife trade. Pangolins are in such danger from poachers that we have to keep secret the location of a pangolin rehabilitation sanctuary where we work. There we met Michelle van Niekerk, a highly qualified veterinary nurse who runs the sanctuary with vital help from scientists from pangolin.africa. During the rehabilitation process, pangolins are as vulnerable as newborn infants. They must be kept warm and they have very specific dietary requirements that can never be met outside of their natural environment. Once rescued, when pangolins are well enough, they need to be taken for walks every three to five hours to forage and readjust to their natural way of life. Someone has to be with them every step of the way. This is a time-consuming and exhausting job. A small red light is attached so Michelle doesn't lose him as the cold Kalahari night approaches. The poor creature was confiscated from poachers and was in terrible condition. He was very traumatized in the first place. He was not very dehydrated and he was in a good condition. But you can see, I had a lot of pain, but here one is aggressive. Pangolins are extremely vulnerable to stress, making them very difficult to keep in captivity. Most die within six months of capture, which is why it's so important they return to the wild quickly. So the pangolins just come back from its walk and it gets a bit cold at night, so they keep it in this crate, put some blankets, and I think that there's even an electric blanket that goes underneath that the pangolin can stay warm for the night. Because usually, usually in the wild, they'll burrow deep under the sand. After three long days and nights of intensive care, our pangolin was strong enough to be released. To make sure we can keep track of him in the future, we fitted him with a satellite tracking device. I think there's a, a, a lekker feeling as om hulle vry te laat nie. Dit is regtig iets wat jy nie vir iemand kan beskryf nie. We're saving pangolins one animal at a time, but so many are in dire need of our help. International trade in pangolins is prohibited in terms of the Global Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species, the CITES Agreement. Yet the trafficking continues unabated. We're working to raise awareness about this issue and putting pressure on authorities to enforce existing laws. Truthfully, we shouldn't have to. Pangolins harbor a wide variety of coronaviruses and scientists say Chinese wet markets where pangolins are sold alive was the source of COVID-19. The result of the cruel and unnecessary exploitation of a gentle and vulnerable creature. They're very special animals that deserve every effort that we can make right now to protect them. We came here and we met and fell in love with the pangolin. Without your help, the species will no longer exist. Please support us and the work we do and give generously.